that moment, July 2009, you're 17, you're on holiday in Portugal, there to celebrate the end of, uh, of, of exams, and you are larking about on the beach, dive into the water. Uh, uh, did you know immediately what had happened to you? Well, yeah, I knew something was um, desperately wrong because when I dived in and I hit my head, I just woke up, opened my eyes, and I was expecting to be standing up and walk out of the sea, but I was just opening my eyes and was staring down at the seabed and my arms just, just lifeless hanging in front of me. And so I knew from that point something was desperately wrong, but I had no idea at that point what the long-term prognosis was and kind of how the rest of my life would be. Well, they, um, they took you to hospital in Lisbon. You had surgeries there. Eventually, after three weeks, they took you to Stoke Mandeville Hospital. And it was really there that you found out the extent of the injuries that you'd suffered. And really, the first time you had to come to terms with the, the life as it was now. Yeah, it was... Um, yeah, there was a lot of time that I spent just lying in a hospital bed, kind of strapped up to all kinds of machines and not really knowing what was going to happen. And, but then, when I was told I'd never be able to move my arms and legs again, it was a, I mean, it was a pretty tough day, but one that I can look back now and kind of see has helped me kind of accept what's happened and get on with my life, really. So what was the moment when you decided that you were going to set yourself new goals, different goals? What spurred you on? Well, I had one really, really horrible day in hospital. That was the first day I was put into a wheelchair and I was taken around the hospital and uh, we went outside because it was the end of summer, it's still nice and warm. And when we were coming back into the hospital, the main entrance had two big glass doors and it was the first time in two months that I'd seen my reflection. And I saw myself and I just didn't recognise me at all. I'd lost four stone, I had this big wheelchair that had armrests, headrests, a high back support, I had the tracheotomy in my throat with an oxygen tank attached to it because I still couldn't breathe independently. And then I was kind of just, from that moment that day, I just broke down and was in my hospital room just crying away, asking the question, why me, why me? But then that night I just spent all day crying and slept, um, I couldn't sleep um, and I just lay there in bed and staring at the ceiling and I suddenly thought, well, I've got no point being sad or angry. I've got no one to blame for what's happened. And I may as well just get on with my life. And then from that point, I started to set myself goals, only little goals, but ones I knew that would be achievable, ones I knew I could reach. And hitting those goals one by one really boosted me and gave me more confidence and acceptance of my situation. And, and it is that positivity and it is that drive to, to focus on what you can do rather than what you can't do that makes you so unique. Um, and, and the artwork we see behind you is one of those challenges. And this all started on the iPad where you started to practicing a bit and using... It was something you'd put in your mouth and you were able to do it. And now you've got this whole setup there where you are and you make these incredible paintings. Um, how long do they take you to do? Thank you. Um, I mean, each painting varies depending on what the subject is, but most are probably a few days. Some can be a week. Some can be shorter. It kind of depends how much I'm enjoying the painting and how involved I can get with it. Yeah, really. We uh, we've got one, um, Henry, that you uh, that you've done for us uh, down here, which is, which is so, so lovely. We're very grateful. We've got uh, we've got our. NDA picture. It's so brilliant. Thank you so much. <laughs> so that's uh, that's fantastic. We'll, we're definitely going to put that. Congratulations on the award. Well, as well. thank you very <laughs> much. much. You're very kind. <laughs> we don't like to talk about it no, too much, obviously. Much, much. Yeah.